All right, so we've got most of the steel structure in, and I know I said we were going to do walls next, but I'm going to go ahead and put the LVLs in that go on top of these. So if we take a look at the PDF, um, let's take a look at the wall sections real quick. If we zoom in up here, you're going to see an LVL 20 inches, two of them, two one and three quarter 20 inch LVLs right here. Um, and they start about an inch above uh, the 10 foot, which is our bottom of parapet, and go up uh, to the top of the roof. So let's go ahead and put those guys in. If we go to the roof plan, you'll see where they go, which makes a lot of sense. These are those LVLs all along on top of the steel. So you can see wood beam one, wood beam one, and they have a section that shows it. So you can look at those in the plans um, that I gave you if you like. Let's go ahead and put them in. So basically what I'm going to do is go to my top of parapet. If we look at the west elevation, that beam is going to go right in here. And this is the top of the parapet, um, sorry, top of plate. So I'm going to go to my top of plate and then just look down below that all the way to the ground. So let's close that guy up. Close that guy up. Let's go to top of plate. So here's top of plate and what I want to do is go to my view range and edit that. Just I'm just going to go to unlimited all the way to the ground. So now I can see all the way down so I can draw these LVLs in. So <clears throat> let's go to beam and load family and we'll navigate to our Imperial Library and scroll down to Structural Framing and go to Wood and you're going to get LVL and they'll open up and we've got two types in here I believe yeah we got a 1 3 quarter by 11 and 7 8 and then a 2 1 and 3 quarter by 14 so let's take the 2 1 and 3 quarter by 14 and go to Edit Type Duplicate that type and we're going to name it 1 and 3 quarter by 20 and click OK. You'll notice that the width is already set to 3 and a half um, because it's two of them and then we just need to set the depth to 20 inches Whoops, 20 inches and click OK. And now we're ready to go. Um, we want to, the placement plane to actually be the bottom of parapet and we want to add one inch to the Z in that. So I'm just going to come over here and add one inch because it sits up in the parapet by one inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the middle of this wall and it'll line up with the columns. It wants to and left click and just draw to the center of there. I'll come down here, line up with the center of this wall and the column, draw to there and then just do the same thing to here. So center of column and wall, click, and then come over here, center of column and wall, click, and it looks like I'm missing a, uh, a column here, so I'm just going to take this one and copy it right from there to there, and then go back to my beam. should be set up the same way. Yep, and go from the center of wall and to the center of that. Same thing up here, right? And then finally this guy right here from the center of wall all the way to the center of wall there. And I think that should be it. So let's see what we got. All right, so there's my LVLs. Oops, it's up. They're justified incorrectly. See how they're going lower than they're starting at the top and going down. And actually, what I want them to do is start at the bottom and go up. So I'm just going to select that, right click, go to select all instances visible in view. You see where it says Z justification top? I'm going to flip it to bottom. And now it'll pop the justification up. So you really want to work with Revit and, and get used to the parameters that you have available to you to adjust these. Now they're not meeting at the ends because Revit has this automatic setback. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use the align command. 
and I'm going to align to this face, that face. And you're going to see, I hit escape a couple times, when I pick this beam, it's going to do the end join cut back at three and three quarter inches, right? So if I take that and I match it from there to there to there, it's going to do it for all of those and we'll get a sort of cleaned off corner there. All right, so um, that's the LVLs.